Chop Chop. Yeah. What's up, man? It's Chris from Real Kind by Media. What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Congratulations, man. I'm doing great. How you doing? Well, not as good as you. Oh, yeah, right. How'd that happen, man? What'd you do? What'd you do to that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I just stayed calm and focused. There we go. Yeah. Easy okay. fight? Huh? Was it an easy fight, or was he a tough guy? It was easy. It was easy. No, he wasn't tough. It was an easy fight. I mean, the game plan was to go in there and put him in a phone booth and make him fight, but from the way he came out in the beginning, I had to switch it. I went to plan B. I had to box him. And then I tried to put pressure on him. And when, I, when he felt my power, you could see the way when I double jab and he would pull back from the left hand that I was throwing. So I seen that I, I couldn't keep applying that kind of pressure on him because he would lean back. I didn't want to get, count on, get caught with a count on the left hand that he would throw. So I, I started pulling back in the later round, letting him come to me so he can build his confidence up and get aggressive. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah, it did. It looked great, man. Wow. What do you, what do you say to you after that in the ring? He didn't say nothing. I just told him good fight, but he didn't say nothing. Yeah. I don't think there's nothing to say pretty much. Mm -hmm. and so what's next, man? You talking about anything next yet? Well, we were trying to fight Amir Khan since the fight is canceled. But that's not going to happen. Um... I'm hoping to get Danny Garcia um, or either the number one guy, Jose, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, for the WBC or um, I can campaign at 135, I can go down and fight at lightweight if someone I want to fight there. It's all up to Lou DiBella and um, me to sit down and talk, mm -hmm. but right now we just we want to fight. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And we want to we want to, we want to fight one of the guys that's in the top five or either the champion or either the number one guy. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're fighting better now? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And what do you what do you make what what's the reason for that? Uh, do you think you found something that you were missing maybe? No. Yeah, yeah. I can't say no. It was something that I was missing. I mean just getting in touch with myself and I'm, I'm reading a book so it helped me change my life by focusing, thinking and doing a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. it must be a good book. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's a great book. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say a good book, it's a great book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how'd they treat you in Ireland after that? It was great. They treated me well. Very well. I had no complaints. I would love to go back and fight over there again, you know. Probably in a big arena, though. Mm hmm. And, uh, I, I watched the fight on YouTube, and then I watched the, the media asking you questions after at the post-fight press conference. What was that? What was that alarm going on? The alarm. Uh, it was a, a small fire that um, they had to put out. It kept going off. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard someone say, fire. And then <laughs> yeah, was you were leaving. <laughs> You just stay talking. I, w I wasn't worried. No. I, I just stopped dropping and roll like they teach you in school. <laughs> you, were, yeah, you were ready to put out another fire. You put out Paul's fire. And yeah. You <laughs> put out another one. So how was <laughs> Iowa, man? How come you're it back? It was great. Out? It was great. Um, happy to be back. Long flight. Um, great experience over there. Beautiful country. Mm -hmm. A lot of memorabilia stuff. I took a lot of pictures. A lot of pictures. Yeah, I hear so many people who come back from Ireland say it was the most fun place they ever been to. What makes it so fun? Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most fun place you ever been to. I mean, it's a great experience. The culture, the experience that the country has been through, the hotel that we stayed in had so much historic value to it. Uh, it's been bombed so many times over decades and decades of years and a lot of powerful people have stayed inside the hotel. I mean, Clinton was there to have a floor called the Clinton Suite. They have another floor for someone else who was very powerful, senator who stayed there. So it was a great experience. I mean, the hotel is nice. Mm -hmm. It's a nice hotel. Mm -hmm. 
you wouldn't think it had been bombed that many times and they remodeled it. It looks great. Mm-hmm. And the food was good. But was it? Was the food good? Yeah. What the food was good. I mean, when I go out of the country, I only stick to specific foods that I eat at home because I don't want to get sick or nothing. Mm-hmm. Different foods in different countries that cause you to get sick. And I experienced that once when I went to China. Hmm. Yeah. I love Chinese food. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> you keep loving your Chinese food. <laughs> as long as there's no cat kennels in the back of the restaurant, I'm good. <laughs> you don't know because you ain't back there. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. Happy for you, man. I'm glad you're so I'm, I'm, I just I can't wait to um, get with Lou next week and um. See what's next. I'm hoping we can get the fight with Marquez. I've seen on, I think it is Boxing News that they already named some opponents that Marquez is looking at him in this group. And my name is not in the mix. And I understand why, because I'm a dangerous, I'm a threat, and they wouldn't want to take a risk mm-hmm. of fighting me because they know what's going to happen. The same thing that happened to Paul, it will happen to Marquez also. Mm-hmm. I will knock him out. A lot of people don't believe that, but I know the results of the fight going 12 rounds. I will knock my career down. Yeah. It's a real deep division, though. There's so many people in that division. What, what do you make of uh, the Lamont Peterson testing positive? Oh, my goodness, man. I, that, that has been driving me pretty much up the wall all day since I've seen it on the Internet. And... I just can't believe that that could happen. Well, how could they let that happen to him and not watch everything that he's taking? Hmm. Yeah. And, I mean, you've been doing the sport for so long, you don't need nothing. You're a natural fighter. Your body's going to perform the way you train it. You don't need no enhancement. Hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you, do you know Lamont personally? Very well. We grew up in the same. When I was 10, 11, 12 years old, Lamont was probably 5 or 6 years old. So we're a couple years apart. We lived on the same street in the neighborhood, Kennewood. Mm-hmm. And um, we really didn't get to meet each other until I was much older and they were into the boxing scene. There were young amateurs coming up in the rankings. I was just coming out of the amateurs, getting ready to go pro. Mm-hmm. And they were the talk of the city, the Peterson brothers. Yeah. How disappointed are you in them? Disappointed? I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. I, I mean, it's just, it's a disgrace to fighters to get yourself involved in illegal stuff. If they don't know that someone is giving them something that's bad on his fault, his manager's fault, and anybody else who's involved with him, they shouldn't have never let no one give him anything, let him take any type of stuff. Hmm. And they say he tested positive for two things. It wasn't only the steroids. Mm-hmm. They say, as they say, it was marijuana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean... Well, that's not going to enhance anyone's performance, though, you know? No, no. But it might make you lazy. If, <laughs> if, if, you, if he wasn't smoking, he shouldn't have been around the people who were smoking. Yeah. Put it like that. Yeah. Yeah, he should be training. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, yeah. excuse my French. My French is... It's fucked up. Bottom line. Yeah. It's well, that's bad. The story it's with bad. Him. What about, what about the know. big fight coming up with Pacquiao and Bradley? What do you... What do you see happening there? Huge mega fight. I'm looking at I'm looking at Manny Pacquiao to win. But that goes to say again, Floyd and them think Manny's on something. Manny needs to take the tests and find out if he is on something. Mm-hmm. How rapid do you think it is? I mean, do you think it, it's it's huge in the sport? You think there's more fighters maybe than not using? I can't say. I ain't taking nothing. That's how all I know. I don't want nothing, don't need nothing. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come up eventually that I'm probably you taking something because I'm performing at the level I did when I was 18, 19, 20 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, 
Mayweather Mayweather said that he believes Pacquiao is using something. Do you think uh, that? Do you think that that there's something funny that happened in Pacquiao's career that makes your eyebrows raise a little bit? Yeah, I, I can't see how a small fighter started at 106. Mm-hmm. He's a Filipino, and Filipinos are not big, big guys. But to enhance his body the way he has, he has done over the years, and beat Oscar the way he did, and beat up Margarita, and beat up Cotto. I mean, it's unbelievable what he has done to them fighters. Mm-hmm. So what do you so, think Batson I mean, can do about it, though? You think they're going to have to start testing for everything, like Olympic style? And they need to do Olympic style test, 100%. And if a fighter don't want to take the test that the Olympic style is demanding, then the fighter shouldn't be allowed to fight. Mm-hmm. And what and do you say? The where, where's the money body going? should be behind it. Yeah, yeah. Should be coming from the governing bodies that take money for for all the things they take money for, just to rank fighters. Shouldn't it be paid for like that, maybe? Yeah. Something. Where's the money going to come from? Is what they say, but there's got to be some place that it could come from. Maybe a five percent, you know, take out of purses, maybe from promoters or something. It's got to come from somewhere though. But they got to do something, you know. Yep. Something yeah, has to be done. They got to stop it because. Fighters are getting hurt. Look at Margarita from the Cotto fight. That wasn't right. Yeah. Look at Cotto, look at Cotto from the Margarita fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I can't, I can't really feel too bad for Margarita no matter what happened. You know? <laughs> After what he, yeah. Time After time. what he did to Cotto, yeah. that wasn't right neither. And I think what he did to everybody else he fought too. Yeah. Crazy. Because I remember, I remember Margarita before he was hurting anybody and when he'd step up and face like a big guy, they would beat him up. Right. And then suddenly he becomes the killer, and then you find that out, and then he, he gets found out and never never hurt another guy again. <laughs> you know? I think maybe that, maybe go for Margarito. <laughs> you know? Easy. That, Easy that tells you something right there. Yeah, yeah. But you're putting it together, man. Let's see, back to, to Bradley and Pacquiao. What what kind of chance do you think Bradley has, if any? Well, he has, he has a great chance. I have him knocking Manny Pacquiao down. Mm-hmm. I mean, if he can hit him hard, if he can hit him hard enough and hurt him, he may knock Manny Pacquiao out. But I don't know if Timothy can take what Manny Pacquiao going to throw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen Pacquiao looking like uh, the Pacquiao that beat De La Hoya up lately, though. I think that Pacquiao could. Come back, or do you think he's gone for good? You never know what the what, what they say he's on. Mm. <laughs> he may he may come back and if, if he destroyed Timothy Bradley, then then that's going to be another big issue. Mm-hmm. You said you wanted Danny yeah. Garcia, right? And what about and what about got, what about making like possibly a rematch with Zab? I think that that's doable now. No, it ain't doable yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, me, me, and Zab, me and Zab talked yesterday. It's not doable yet. Uh, mm-hmm. Zab, Zab is looking for the winner between Kong and Lamar Peterson now that that fight is off. Uh, Zab name has been mentioned in um, possibility for Marquez. Uh, Zab is going to grab another title. I'm going to grab another title. And next year will make the 10-year anniversary of a decade. That means Zab got toward each other when I lost my title. Mm. So that would be the perfect time for us to do the rematch. I know. Well, you guys planned it out. Yeah, Laid out that, the plan. Zab going to win. I'm going to win. We both come champions. It's time to unify. And what did Zab say? Talk. What did Zab say? He thought of your performance. Did he watch your, your fight? <laughs> yeah, he said, Chop, <laughs> you back, son. <laughs> and it's funny. All, all New Yorks call everybody son. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, son, that's what's up. You back? Yeah. I said, man, I just went in there and did what I had to do. He said, that's what's up, son. <laughs> that's cool. Cool people. Zab look great in his last fight too. You look great. Yeah, he look, he look real good. He look hungry. Yeah. I 
mean, he has he has done some things in his career to turn his turn his life around. So you see him an older fighter, which is Zab is I think he's thirty six now. I mean, he has changed a lot of things from the past and his performance has changed. Mm-hmm. He 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 made a statement. He said he's back. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm in the same category. I'm back. Mm-hmm. So it, only, it, it will only play itself out. Two former world champions become world champions once again. Now fight each other once again. It makes too much sense. It's got to happen. It's got to happen, Shot Shot. What do you think of the like second tier half, the, the lower half of the division you got? Mathis? What do you think of Mathis? Mathis? Mathis. Uh, I, know a lot about, I know a lot about him. Is it? <laughs> yeah. We fought each other. He's a strong fighter. Is he? Yeah. Um, I, I want to see him. I want to see him and um, the, the other young kid who's about to fight. They fight June the 23rd, I heard. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a great fight. I'm going to be watching that fight. Yeah. So. Yeah. I got my eye on my teeth. I'm going to make sure I train properly for him because he's still in my bracket. And he ain't going nowhere. And I ain't going nowhere, so. Who's that? Matisse? Lucas Matisse, yeah. Okay. He, he's, at, he's still at 140. So he impressed you, though, when you fought him? Oh, he beat me. I know, I know. But yeah. not everyone who beats you leaves an impression, you know? Oh, yeah, he left, he left a, a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <I know>. So, <laughs> so, and what do, you, what do you think about like someone like Mike Alvarado coming up? I don't know too much about Mike. I would love to fight him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wonder if he's ready for the step up, you know? He's got to he fight soon. He's got to... He should be. That's a doable fight right there, too, man. Yeah. And doable. He needs a name. That's the thing. They, they, it's doable fight, but do the promoters want to take that chance when, you, when you're looking at a veteran fighter who just, I mean, they counted me out from my last six losses. I go to bed and he's done. Mm-hmm. When I go in there, I clearly beat the zero to a pulse. Then they send me over. Well, that was a mistake for them taking the Paul McCarthy fight, accepting the fight me. That was a big mistake on their part. Mm-hmm. First of all, you can't put me in there with a guy that can't punch and don't think he's going to be, and then think he's going to beat me. Yeah. A brawler who can't punch, you know. Not, not and he makes too many bad mistakes. I mean, he is a C-class fighter. He fights just like a person in the C-class bracket. Pulls back, hands down. And when you get on that level where you need to be competing as a world champion or trying to become a world champion, those mistakes that you, them mistakes you cannot make. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you mentioned you want Juan Manuel Marquez. You're ready for him. What about Eric Morales? I would love to fight Eric Morales. Them, are, them, are le- them two names right there, them are legend fighters mm-hmm. that would just solidify my career. Me getting in there, beating them. I mean, they're up in age, I'm up in age, and so I'm doing something totally different from what they're doing. And I know they would never be able to beat me. Yeah. Maybe they would have got me four, five years, six years ago when I was younger. They would have beat me, of course. Yeah. But now that, I mean, I'm doing different things in my life, nah, they wouldn't beat me. Yeah. At all. Yeah. You put it together. You definitely resurrected yourself. Found, found what you're missing or found what, what you could substitute it with perfectly, you know? You're looking great <laughs> the last few fights, man. I'll let y'all in on a secret, but not yet. No. I'll let you know what, what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's top secret, man. Top secret yeah. for your tire. <laughs> I'm going to I'm 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 bring it out of it, <laughs> But just not yet. Is it the Chop Chop shoes, I was wondering? <laughs> you know, it ain't the shoes, like Michael Jordan said. It ain't the shoes. <laughs> yeah. So how's the shoe business going? You got you're selling your own boxing shoes. Well, my shoes are doing pretty well. No. I have a mid cut that um everyone will get a chance to see on uh, my next bike. Mhm. No, that's great. Look forward to it. 
some nice looking boxing shoes. The mid cut is better than the hot top. No, okay. No, hey, that's your opinion. I let the other fighters. I let the other fighters tell you. No, no, I know you have that 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 style and pizzazz. You like you like like <laughs> wearing shoes that look like they're for elves and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chop chop, man. Appreciate it. All right. Be in touch, man. Thanks for joining Real Combat Media. You're welcome.